Okay, we're going to do a recording here and uh, just show you how to use Adobe Acrobat Reader DC for doing plan takeoffs or finding out the areas or the perimeters um, from plans that have been sent to you without having to go to site and measure. Um, it always pays to check on site, but uh, most things you can be pretty close off the plans because they should be built into the plans. So there's a free function in Adobe Acrobat Reader, so you don't have to buy any special takeoff software. Um, some of the takeoff software can be quite good because it will you can put it in your products and it can automatically work out things, in particular if your carpet layer. Um, it can have the size of your carpet, um, your width and stuff like that. But for what we do, um, which is flooring products, uh, concrete coatings, grinding, polishing, all that sort of thing, um, we just need to know the square meters. So anyway, I'm going to talk quickly because this needs to go fast. So we go up the top here and we click on this tools. And up here, it's got a number of things that um, you can use. And the ones that say open are free. Other ones um, you've got to pay for. But this is part of the free one. So we click open on measure. And this tool by here pops up. And the one we're looking for is me measuring tool. So we click on that. And... Then it opens up this little one here. And the ones we're looking at here is this one here is distance. This one here is perimeter. And this one here is area. So we're going to want area for this, but we're not sure what the scale ratio is. Um, I was just into this before and it's already set this up. But if you're starting from scratch, it will say one inch equals one foot or something like that. Um, which doesn't work for me because we work in Imperial. So, you know, so if you right click, you get this change scale ratio and precision. So on this plan, if I zoom in on it, no, I won't do that while I'm doing that. Right, so if I zoom in on this plan and go to the hand one to move, it says here this plan is the scale ratio is one to a hundred. So when I go here and go to look, do things, um, one to a hundred should probably work. But with this plan, it's actually been printed and then someone's colored in the garage area they want me to quote on and then rescanned it. So the scale will be all messed up because uh, it'll print it at a different scale. You probably printed it at A3, uh, A4, and um, and then rescan it again, and you always just get things messed up a bit. So I'm going to go here to the measuring tool, and I'm going to click on this one. And so yeah, if we change the scale ratio, like I said, I know what this is. So if we if I have that at one centimeter equals one meter, which is one to a hundred. Because uh, there's 100 centimetres in a metre, and I want to work things out in metres. So this one needs to be what you want your answers in, and this one needs to be the fraction of it. If I go up here to this known measurement, so I go OK on that, and I click where this one starts, and then I drag across to where it ends, I can see that says 13.62 metres, and the plan's telling me that distance is 20.115. So what I would do is before I click on that one, I'd right click it, go down to change scale ratio again. And I'd probably go to something like 1.5 because that was 13, half of 13 is right, roughly six and a half. Um, and that's going to get me fairly close. So 13 and six and a half. And there we go, we're at 20.44, which is reasonably close. Um, I'm about that far out. Um, so you can see the little blue mark and you can see where mine is. So we're not quite right. <coughs> so we actually want to reduce it. And I actually know this is 0.47. We click on that and we drag to there. That's pretty close. Um, on the other side, I'm actually just a little bit over. Okay, there somewhere it'll make you feel good. That's pretty close. 
Um, and so if I do my measurements based on that. So then if we go back up, I always leave this here just so I've got a reference as to how I've measured from, like I said, it should be back there. Go to area, and what you do with this is you just click in the corners. So click there, and just move the crosshairs to where you want to be. Now, the other thing is when you get, when I get close to where I started up here, you'll notice a little circle pop up. There it is. There, it's gone. So when I've got that there, it will actually close it as a shape. I'll click that there. And if we look at this here, it says 39.46. Um, so roughly 40 square metres uh, for that area there, which is what I will quote. And, um, and that's how you do it. You save it. Um, you can put that as a plan and then send it back up when you do your um, your job sheet. So anyway, that's how we do it with uh, Adobe Acrobat.